Chief Certified Meteorologist Chris Martinez is here tracking the activity in the tropics and when you can expect the biggest impacts from the rain. Chris? Yeah, three in the tropics tonight for sure, Felicia. We do have three areas of concern. Two have low chance to develop. One has a medium chance to develop. So we'll start right here in the Gulf of Mexico. You can see this wave now just has 20% chance to develop. Really not anticipating much development out of that system as it hugs the coast of Texas back out towards Louisiana later this weekend, but providing flooding rains for that area for sure. Then we get into the central Atlantic. This tropical wave still unorganized tonight, but look at that orange shaded area. We do anticipate some slow development into the latter part of next week where we really have to keep a close eye on that system as that is expected to move into the Caribbean. And then just to the east of that is another weak tropical wave tonight. Hurricane Center has highlighted that area. 20% chance to see some slow development over the next seven days. So three items to watch. Nothing that is threatening Florida as we speak, but of course something we'll keep a very close eye on as we head into next week and next weekend as well. Nice and quiet for most of us tonight as we wrap up your Friday into the long holiday weekend. Not many showers out there. There's some trying to work their way in towards Boca Raton. Here's a look at the forecast for tonight. Just warm and balmy 70s to lower 80s here across South Florida. And my forecast is showing again we eventually settle into the upper 70s tonight. But like I said, rain chances do return as we head through the afternoon hours. We'll take a deeper dive of that future track coming up. Lee.